Welcome to World of Warships for our Independence Day 2023 special here on Paladin Gaming. Uh, we are going into... I am, uh, much like I did w with World of Tanks this morning, I am going to play the uh, the ships I am trying to advance on the tech tree on. Uh, we are in the Tier 6 Farragut, because even though I'm up to the gearing of the Destroyer Tree, this unlocks the Submarine Tree. Which, even though I tested it, I do not have it yet unlocked on the live server. So we're going to work on that. And it's kind of good being back in mid-tier destroyers as a destroyer main because, uh... No one down here has radar, so my smoke works and my torpedoes work and we can, uh, we can cause a lot of havoc. So we're gonna do the best we can. So it's, uh, three objective... General Quarters! Autopilot mode enabled. I guarantee, I guarantee I'm not going to follow that all the way to, uh... Alright, so I have 6.4 kilometer range torpedoes. I have to refresh myself. Good luck and fair seas. aircraft to find me. Fortunately, they're not going the correct way, direction for that. So, there is a New York headed my way. And our carrier's planes didn't see anything screening him. So, if that remains true, he's mine. Torpedoes are almost loaded. Definitely out of both artillery. I would not that I want to fire my artillery at him anyway, unless he's got me dead to rights. But uh, he's definitely out of any range of any ability of mine to affect. Him. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Repel air attack. I'll put one spray of torpedoes into that smoke screen just because. Pilot mode disabled. All right, time to disengage the autopilot and go ham. I'm gonna try to sneak around the edge of this island and pop up, surprise him. Range just need to get around this island at him. Oh, there's their destroyer. So it's actually going to make this complicated. Torpedoes deployed. 
screen set. Well, crap, I need to get back to my smoke screen. Hey, an aircraft carrier. Engine boost is still going. We'll go after him. Shoals hit him. Probably a fool's errand.
Got him. Enemy cruiser sunk. Seem to find the control for it. They seem to change the control for uh, viewing other people on your team. Well, that gives me free look cameras, so let's just do that. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. This is a little disorienting, but... Our team has taken the lead. I need to lead your shot better than that. There we go. Nice shooting. The last known position of their last of their carrier and the last destroyer was over here. The destroyer could be anywhere. The carrier's right there. Like we see his airplanes launching. gotta find that destroyer. He's around here somewhere because those torpedoes didn't come from planes. Even if we don't kill him, we're gonna win on capture points. We're capturing the last, uh, last objective right now. There he is. Got himself stuck on the uh, on the boundary. Gary didn't lead him correctly though. That's fine. It's hard to do with aerial torpedoes. It's just a flesh wound. All right. So we got combat missions for inner battle and earn base XP. <laughs> so, uh, fifth in XP on the team with one posthumous kill. Got the kill in the Konigsberg with posthumous torpedoes, 11, uh, almost 12,000 damage in New York, and yeah. Alright, so. Knocked out my torpedoes three times. Yeah.
86,000 credits and 6,124 XP. Unlike tanks, they did not just give me premium for showing up in World of Warships. Probably because I played it more recently. Although not that recently, it's been over a year. So that'll be it for our uh, Farragut gameplay for World of Warships for this Independence Day special. Uh, this is Paladin Gaming signing off. The Independence Day special will continue at the top of the next hour.